Hello there, you beautiful people. Now, as you know, there are two sides to every coin. And now that you've learned how to install packages to your system, in this video, we're going to be covering how you can uninstall packages from your system and make sure that your system is squeaky clean. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so in the last few videos, we've been messing around with the X11 apps package, and we're going to continue using that as kind of our guinea pig uh, for this video. So to uninstall a package in Ubuntu, the most basic way to do it is to type sudo apt get remove and then the package name okay so because we're talking about the x11 apps package we just type sudo apt get remove and then x11 apps and that would remove it but that's not the preferred way to do it okay and the reason is when you install packages there are sometimes configuration files that come along with the packages and if you just remove the package uh, using sudo apt get remove then the configuration files are left behind on your system taking up space and not being helpful now, this can be useful if you want to install the package again in the future and want all your settings to be the same, but it's still not really the preferred way to do it. Instead, to remove a package and all of its configuration files, what we do is instead of typing sudo apt get remove, we type sudo apt get purge and then the package name. Okay, so sudo apt get purge uh, x11 apps. Now, the purge will remove the package and its configuration files. So always use purge whenever you want to uninstall a package. So if I go ahead and do that, it's going to go and say, hey, I want to um, remove this. Is that OK? I press yes. And it will go through and remove X11 apps and any of its configuration files. So you can see here it says purging configuration files for X11 apps. OK, so it's gone ahead and done that. Now, that will have the X11 apps package 100% removed from the system. But sometimes when you install packages, you need to install like 10 other different packages as dependencies, okay? So you need, in order to get the package that you want to install to work, you need like 10 other packages or maybe even 100 other packages in order to get that one package to work. And we call those extra packages dependencies. So what if those dependencies are no longer required, but you don't know what they're called? How can you remove them? Well, you're in luck. In order to remove packages that were installed as dependencies but are no longer required for any other package on the system, you can just do sudo, if I clear the screen, sudo apt get auto remove, and that's it. So sudo apt get auto remove. Now, auto remove will automatically remove any dangling dependencies that are no longer required, which helps you save space on your system. So if I do that, um, it's going to tell me there's actually not any that need to be removed, but you can save a lot of space in this. So bear in mind, this is all happening across hundreds or even thousands of different packages on your system, and having the package manager keep everything in order automatically is a really great asset. I'm sure you'd agree. It beats it doing it yourself anyway. Now, whenever you download and install a package, a copy of the package is saved locally on your computer. Now, this package is then unpacked and installed on your system. So that's how it works. When you install a package, it downloads itself as a compressed archive, then unpacks itself and installs itself on your system, okay? Now, because of that two-step process, not only is a package installed on your system, but a compressed version of it is also saved. Now, these compressed files usually take up space and aren't really necessary if you already have the package installed um, because they're just, you know, an archive. They're like the wrapper that comes with the stuff, okay? So you can actually save yourself massive amounts of space, sometimes even gigabytes of space, just by deleting these archives, okay? Now these archives are stored at, if, I, if we go there, slash var, slash cache, slash apt, slash archives. So if we go there and take a look, we can see there's quite a few um, little deb files here, some compressed archives saved in there. And you can see the one for X11 apps, even though we've actually removed it from the system. And you can see um, how, how large these are by doing ls with the lh command. Um, and you can see that there's a total of about 10 megabytes in there. Now, that's not much, but um, you know this can easily grow to gigabytes after you keep installing packages on your system. It can get quite mad because um, every package you install comes with its own dependencies, and even those dependencies uh, are saved as copies so you can really save a lot of space by removing the stuff from here now you don't have to even be in the folder to remove them so if I just head back to our home directory as you can see we're in our home directory if we run sudo apt get clean um, that will delete all of the packages from that directory so if we head back up into um, the slash var slash cache slash apt slash archives and do an ls we can see that now they've all been deleted even though we weren't in that folder so if you want to get rid of all that stuff do sudo apt get clean um, but sometimes you don't want to delete all of those for whatever reason and you only want to get rid of the stuff um, you want to get rid of those packages uh, those those um, those 
archives, but the ones for packages that can no longer be accessed from the from the actual Ubuntu repositories. Now, this is usually for systems that are very old and want to keep their cache going for years and years and years, and every now and then just you know trim the leaves and get rid of their dev packages that can no longer be downloaded for whatever reason. And to do that, instead of using sudo apt-get uh, clean, you'd use auto clean. Now, as just to highlight, clean gets rid of everything. Of, of those in the archive cache. Now that's different from the from the list cache, by the way. That's just a this is just a storage space for um for saved archives and packages and stuff. So this is a completely different cache. But clean will remove everything in there and auto clean will check what's in there and only delete the ones that you can no longer download from the repositories to make sure you don't have stuff in there that you'll never use again. So there you have it, a no-nonsense guide to uninstalling packages. So let's review, okay? We discussed that the most basic way to review packages is to use sudo apt-get remove and then the package name. But this is not recommended because it leaves behind configuration files. Instead, use sudo apt-get purge and then the package name, okay? Now, when you install a package, it's likely that other dependency packages were also installed in order to make that package work. And in order to get rid of those dependencies um, and automatically remove them from the system, as long as they're no longer required, you would use sudo apt-get auto-remove to remove any unwanted and any unneeded dependencies, okay? Um, and just because they were used for one package and you remove that package doesn't mean they're no longer needed for another. But don't worry about that. The package manager is going to take care of all that for you, okay? And you also learned that when a software package is installed, it is first downloaded and saved on your system in a compressed archive. Now, this archive is saved on your system even after the package is installed, and that means it's taking up space. It's kind of like the wrapper um, or the packaging behind the actual uh, thing that you want, okay? So to clean up all the packaging and clean up all that stuff, what you've got to do is sudo apt-get clean, and that's going to delete all the compressed package archives uh, and save you a a heck of a lot of space. You'd be surprised sometimes, even gigabytes at times. But perhaps you don't want to clean up all of those packages for some reason, and instead you just want to clean up the ones that can no longer be downloaded um, from the Ubuntu repositories. So for that, you'd use sudo apt-get auto-clean. Okay? So there you have it, you beautiful people. You now know everything that you will ever need to know about package management in Ubuntu. And you've done so unbelievably well that in the next video, I would like to congratulate you and have a recap of what we've learned. So for some well-deserved praises and a recap, I'll see you in the next video.